Welcome to your chat box with Sam, season three. Tonight's guest is the amazing Sid Croft. Good well, evening, thank you Sid. So much. Thank oh. you, thank you for asking me. Oh no, it's it's an honor. It's an absolute honor. You're an amazing puppeteer. You have a great background. You um you you were awarded a Hollywood star in 2020, and you know you have so much history. You opened up for Judy Garland, Liberace, and um, so what? Um, 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 a lot of stories, and uh, I've been in this business since I'm 10 years old, and uh, so I've been in it for 83 years, 84, 84, actually. With, with your brother yeah. Marty, yeah. Marty Croft. Yes. And, uh, you know, I know that there's a lot of, there must be a lot of people out there that wonder who this old man is. Well, I'm going to ask you to do me a favor. You should be doing this every single day anyway. Um, you need to ask your grandma or your mom, mom, <laughs> <laughs> mom. <laughs> uh, you know, I, I, I want you to call her or your grandma and you ask them if what they grew up with because I did 26 television series and uh, and I'm sure they were hooked on one of them Absolutely. Uh, and we were on children's programming all mm -hmm. three networks and I'll just throw out a couple of names of the shows. Land of the Lost. It was a huge movie with Will Farrell too. Puppeteers are like magicians. Yeah. They have their own secrets. Mm -hmm. I had a puppet, a streetwalker, and she had a real lighter and she lit her cigarette and she inhaled and exhaled. Oh my so goodness. I built a little H.R. Puff and stuff. Mm -hmm. And if you're watching uh, in England, I, that was on at 7.30 at night against Bonanza. And we took the time period because we had such a huge success in casting Jack Wilde right. uh, with his Cockney accent. <laughs> that we uh, The second show, we went back to London and searched for the Bugaloos. Uh, 1954 is when I did a command performance at the Palladium, but I wasn't asked in the in the first place. I wasn't on on the program. You know, it, it was a night of a hundred stars, oh. and Liberace, who I toured with, you know, for many years in news since 1952. Wow, all that, jewel, all that jewelry in the piano. Yeah, yeah. Is anything available like a suite just for an hour? And they said, no, the hotel is sold out, but the penthouse, Stoffy Lorraine's coming and it's full of flowers. Don't touch anything if it's only an hour, you know. And so they met me in the whole top floor of oh, the show. How shed. wonderful. <laughs> and they thought, who the hell is this guy? <laughs> she was looking, Judy Garland, for an opening act, mm -hmm. just a note to open her. And I got the job. And, it, you know, the biggest star in the world. We yeah, opened she's amazing. in Vegas. You know, I worked with her over a year and a half. May I ask what the little puppet was that you saved? Yeah. Up? Her name is Dolly. The oh. Dolly. Where my dad said, 
you want a dolly and you're a boy? Yeah, yes. I sent away for a dolly. But the couple upstairs, they didn't have any kids and they were Irish and they oh, really? adopted me. Yeah, because I, even being that young, nine, 10 years old, yeah, I was, I lived in another world, you know, and they loved that. I didn't know anything yeah. about producing a television show. And my brother, he was a car salesman when he joined me, a used car sale. Right. When he joined me, you know, he was 19 years old. But I already had, you know, 19 years of experience. Yes. Traveling all over the world. Chat box with Sam. That's that's who I'm on right now. Right now. You are. Samantha so Sheldon. And that I took puppetry that was for kids and brought it into the adult world. Even my act. I mean, Judy Garland, she'd have a puppet act to open there, no way, you know what I mean? Yeah. So my act was a killer. She must you know? have loved it for you to open so She stood in the wings and watched at every performance Aww. because when you have a marionette, I worked on the floor, I didn't have a stage and I moved like a dancer, you know, and the puppet was just, I was in black right. and the puppet would just have a spotlight. And you could see that, you know, my hands working the controls, you know, dimly because mm -hmm. the light would bounce off and up. And, uh, and David Copperfield, who I'm working with right now mm -hmm. on a huge project, he took magic and he took it into the adult world. That's but getting... you, did, you did have a nice hotel. I've, I've had lunch there a couple of times at the Chateau Marmont. Oh, my, well, I live there. That, that's a nice place. <laughs> yeah, but you know what? The room that I had was facing the alley, not Sunset. Oh, that's not good. It had a hot plate in the bathroom. And so you could go to the bathroom and boil an egg at the same time. <laughs> that was awful. <laughs> That's all. Yeah, that's not. It doesn't sound so glamorous now. Uh, no, it wasn't. <laughs> I'm a bright star in the nighttime. I'ma go hard when it's my time. Yeah, I'm hard and I'm light. You know you can't pause when the time's right. Sitting in the stars. Oh,